Hi Stampin' Friends, welcome to Kelly's Creative Stamping. Today is our first installment of our sweet, sweet journal using the Petal Promenade Sweet. Sorry, I just, my mind went blank for a minute. Let me see if I can pull it up here really quick. It's in our beautiful our Petal Promenade. Now we are not going to be using the stamps or the dies for this, but you are welcome to purchase and add those to your journal. Because I'm going to be showing you the basics of putting together this journal, and then you can go through and add, alter, whatever you want to do with it. I'm just going to show you some basic pages, pockets, and things that we can do. And I love the Petal Promenade to start with because there are so many components that we use in what we call junk journaling that are already there in this paper series for you. So today is all about what you will need. And I would suggest if you get your order in probably today, you may have it in here before next weekend, not promising, but based on a three to five day in-house shipping from the time they process your order, you could have it in time to work with me next Saturday when we do this one. I'm also going to try doing this live next Saturday We'll see how that goes. When I know a time when I'm going to be sitting down and doing this live, I will post it both on uh, Instagram, on my Facebook page, and on my blog so that hopefully you will come in and join me. So make sure that you click the subscribe button and then click that notification bell so that you'll know when I post notices about when I'm going to be running the segments on this. So let's get started. Okay, first of all, we're using the Petal Promenade series um, items. We're using the embellishments, the papers, the card stocks, and then one other item that is not in this suite, but does work very well with this suite. So first off, you're going to need our six by eight journal. And I love this because this already gives us the rings to work with. We already have a nice spine that we could, we don't have to cover the spine for this. We can put our paper right up to the edge when we do our cover and then do a bit of trim to cover the seam. So this is going to be really easy to do. So you'll need the six by eight album. You will need our half inch hole punch. And then you'll need a standard quarter inch hole punch because what we're going to be doing is we're going to be making re hole reinforcers since Stampin' Up! does not sell eyelets we're going to be making our own hole reinforcers for this so you'll need those two punches you will want um, a bone folder or something that you can give good sharp creases to your pages and pockets you will need a paper trimmer And if you don't have the Stampin' Up! paper trimmer that has the scoring tool, I will be showing you a couple of all different alternative ways to score your paper and get good solid scores without having to have that score tool. For adhesives, we're going to be using the Tombow Mono Liquid All-Purpose Glue, and we're going to be using Tear and Tape. Those are our two main adhesives. You may want to have glue dots on hand as well. But for the most part, those are the two adhesives we're going to be using. We're going to be using the metallic thread from the Promenade series and the Petal Pink Rhinestone Gems. Now remember, when you place your order using the hostess code that's on my blog, and I will also put it in the description box below, when you place your order for the items for this journal, you will receive the Petal Pink Rhinestone Gems free from me. And those are an additive you can go back and add to your pages at any time so you don't necessarily have to have them at the very beginning. However, I do want to caution you that because Petal Promenade is one of our designer series papers in this catalog, remember our retiring list comes out in a couple of weeks and you know that all of our designer papers go bye-bye to make room for brand new designer series papers that will come out in the new catalog launching Jan uh, June 2nd. And some of these components for this album may disappear as well. So if you want this album 
or the components for this album to do your own thing, you want to make sure that you order these items before May 30th. But if you want to do this journal with me, then you want to get them ordered right away, right? The only other one we're going to be using, this is the 3 8 inch Shimmer Ribbon. <laughs> okay, let me try that again. Shimmer Ribbon. And it's petal pink. And we real, having this wider ribbon will really make a nice accent on some of our pages. And for um, using as a tie on our album. So that's the only other thing we're going to use embellishment wise. I'm trying to keep this first album really super simple. I want to give you the chance to get your feet wet in this journaling. Uh, in the sweet journals. And then I will be doing a new one every month with the new sweets that launch in June. So I'm really anxious to see what those are. Okay, let's talk about the papers. The only other thing you're going to need are the papers and coordinating cardstocks that come with this, that, that are a part of this suite. And I've got them, you'll have one sheet of each in your packet. I'm showing the front and the reverse side here. So if there's anything, if you think you're going to want to add more pages from what we do, then you'll want to make sure to order two packages while you still have them available. Okay, these are our main solid print papers that we'll be making our pockets and our page actual pages with. And then we have these that have front and backs. I love this copper. But they also have great page elements for making tuck spots and corners and additives borders on our pages so you'll want to make sure that you've got i said if you think you're going to want to do more than what we do in the album later on you'll want to order two packages okay now you can order the coordinating the main coordinating cardstock packet if you don't want to order a whole bunch of cardstocks and you just want to work with a few colors of cardstock. You can start with, and these will be the three colors that we focus on, though I will add some of the other colors that coordinate with this designer series paper. But these three sh colors come in one bundle pack on that page. And this is the Mossy Meadow, Blushing Bride, and Very Vanilla. And you can get that color coordination. Now if you want to work with other colors, we have uh, the white and the very vanilla, Tranquil Tide, Smoky Slate, Sahara Sand, Petal Pink, and I guess Petal Pink's the one that comes in that collection, not the Brushing Blide. Mossy Meadow, Highland Heather, Grapefruit Grove, Fresh Fig, and the Blushing Bride. Now, we may pull in some of these other colors here and there. But for the most part, to start with this journal, these are the this three color pack is the only one you really need to start this journal. So if I as I'm going through over the next couple of weeks and I'm working in some of these other colors, feel free to just use what you have. If you have other colors of cardstock in your stash, use them. Um, so that you will be making this journal personal to you. Things that you like and that are for you. So that's what we're going to be working with. So a quick recap. This will probably be at least three more parts. Possibly a fourth besides this one. And because next week we will cover, do our cover. And I'll show you the first round of pages. Then week three, which would be um, Sweet Sweet Journal 1C, will be, or part three, will be um, a separate type of page that you can do and adding tuck spots and belly bands. And then the fourth one will be going back through and adding embellishments and other things that will make it personal to you. And as we get into that one, I will give you a little bit more detail about what you might want to have on hand for the coming week to do that. 
All the descriptions will, of everything and the numbers, order numbers will be listed below and on the blog. And make sure to click that subscribe button and the bell so that you know when these go up. I'm going to try and have them up every Saturday afternoon. My husband just walked in the door like an hour ago. So um, he understands that I am trying to get this up and running. So we're okay. I'll just try and make sure that if nothing else, they're up and they're scheduled. My perfect time for them would be to hit YouTube about three o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. You're done with your morning. You're done with your errands for Saturday and you're just ready to sit down and have some personal crafting time. So I'm hoping that these will go live by 3 p.m. Central Standard Time every Saturday for the next three weeks. So I hope you'll come back and join me. I'm looking forward to putting this album together and showing you some of the things that I've been doing in other junk journal challenges. Have a creative day and I'll see you next week. Bye-bye.